I'm frequently asked, where do I get all of my hamster supplies? So I figured it would make sense to compile all of the things that I currently am using for my hamsters and put it all in one video. And of course, I will make sure to link everything in the description bar below. I also have to <laughs> warn you guys, there's going to be a lot of Night Angel products. Starting off with my cages, the smallest enclosure that I have is the IKEA Linman DIY enclosure. This is made using the IKEA Linman tabletops and IKEA Hemnes glass tabletop. And this is 39 inches by 22 inches by 18 inches, giving you a total of 858 square inches of floor space. My next enclosure is the Night Angel Bigger World Large Enclosure. This was sent to me by Night Angel and it is 47 inches by 19 inches by 23 inches, giving you a total of 893 square inches of floor space. I also have the Night Angel enclosure sitting on top of the Leg Katapen table. And my last enclosure is another DIY one that I made using the Pure Bond Aspen Plywood from Home Depot and a sheet of glass that I got from a local window shop. And this enclosure is 48 inches by 24 inches by 24 inches, giving you a total of 1,152 square inches of floor space. Next, we move on to the bedding inside of my enclosures. The first bedding that I am using is the KT Clean and Cozy bedding that I've picked up from PetSmart. This bedding I am starting to use less and less of because I've noticed that it just has become a super dusty bedding that I'm not a big fan of. I'm also using the All Living Things paper bedding in the white and brown color, and I also have picked this up from PetSmart, and I find that it is a lot less dustier. And last but not least, in Dipper's enclosure, I do have some of the Uber paper bedding and I picked this up from Global Pet Foods. As for the other substrates I use for enrichment in my enclosures, I have the Living World Green Ultra Comfort Aspen Chips that I picked up from PetSmart. I also use the Eco Earth Coconut Fiber, which also is from PetSmart. The sand I use is the Exoterra Reptile Terrarium Sand, and once again, this is also from PetSmart. As for the cork granules that I have, I actually ordered these off of a website called CorkSpirit.com. This is a place in Portugal, and this is 100% natural cork granules. And last but not least, I have some Galapagos Pillow Moss that I found on Amazon. For the water dishes I use, I have these glass tea light candle holders that I picked up from Amazon. They came in a pack of eight to 10, I think, and they are one inch tall by one inch wide, which is perfect for hamsters. And I also use this Mount Fuji water dish, and this is by Night Angel. As for the herbs that I put in my enclosures, I get these from a variety of different websites such as starwestbotanicals.com. This is kind of like a bulk food website except for herbs, so you get to pick which herbs that you want and you can select a variety of different sizes. I've also gotten herbs from the small shop Redwood Grove, and I recently have been using the Living World Green Rainbow Mix. They also have two other mixes, and I got these off of Amazon. For the sprays that I use inside of my hamsters enclosures, I also get these off of a variety of websites such as fatpouches.com, Hammy Pals on Etsy, as well as I get a big bundle of flax seeds from my local Pet Value. Onto the wheels that I use, I have one of the 12 inch silent runner wheels and this was from exoticnutrition.com which also has other great wheels such as the Wodent wheel. I also have two of the 11 inch cork wooden night angel wheels. These are lined with cork that if your hamster does soil it, you are able to replace the cork inside of it. For the high deaths that I have, I have two of the six chamber Night Angel hides. One of them does have the marble and bamboo lid. This is also made by Night Angel. And then I also have one of the three chamber Night Angel hides as well. I also have stilts made by Night Angel that are specifically made to hold up these exact hideouts. 
As for some of the platforms that I have, some of them are handmade by myself, and I also have the wavy and rectangle platforms by Night Angel. The wooden dig boxes that you see in the enclosures are homemade, and the acrylic sand bath I have is made by Night Angel. One of the biggest things I'm always asked about is where do I get my grapevine wood and my cork logs? These are all from various shops. For example, this piece of grapevine wood actually was ordered off of Amazon. And this big piece was from PangeaReptile.com. But I also have gotten grapevine wood and cork logs from Petco, Petland, StargazeExotics.ca, ReptilesRUs.ca, AllReptiles.ca, and NorthernGecko.net. For the bamboo and birch logs you see in my enclosures, these are both by Night Angel. This ceramic hide as well as the ceramic tunnel are also made by Night Angel. These hideouts you may have seen in a recent video were from a shop called lovesweetsugar.com. Just be aware of the sizings of some of the products. I'm also currently using some of these seagrass bowls and I got these from Ikea and these are 100% natural seagrass that your hamsters will love to chew through. This very famous mushroom hideout that I'm always asked about unfortunately was from Petco back in probably 2013, 2014. So it is no longer made and I have not seen anybody else selling this. This wooden interactive toy that I recently showed in a video, it is made by Living World Green and this was a product made a really long time ago so they no longer make it. But I went ahead and found you guys very, very similar ones on the American Amazon. And last but not least, for the supplies that I use, I have these Living World Green pet carriers and I got these off of Amazon. I think this one is small and this one is medium or this one is medium and this one is large, but they are great. So those are currently all of the supplies I am using for my hamsters. Hopefully this was able to help you guys find some new places to buy hamster supplies. And maybe it gave you some ideas as to what to get your hamsters for Christmas. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!